uh, in blue, we can see many of the superficial cortical bridging veins. And these are also very clinically important as they are the main cause of subdural hematomas. So we looked at epidural hematomas before. Here on the left, uh, we have an axial non-contrast CT showing uh, a large hyperdense crescent-centric hematoma. Um, extending across all the suture lines there, and that's very consistent with an acute subdural hematoma. We can also see right to left midline shift um, and subfalcine herniation, which we can see at that arrow there, and is generally caused by um, unilateral frontal, parietal, or temporal lobe disease that produces mass effect medially, pushing the ipsilateral cingulate gyrus beneath the free edge of the fox. So uh, we can see anatomically here what this means. Um, this is a medial perspective. This is the third, the you know, lateral third ventricles. Um, the left hemisphere has been removed. And we can see this is the fox. This is the free edge of the tent. This is an opening that's been cut. So the fox separates the left and right hemispheres vertically. Uh, the uh, tentorium separates the brainstem from the cortex. Um, there's our carotid. Um, and what we can see here is um, the cingulate gyrus um, would be pushed underneath the free edge of the fox. And this is subfalcine or below the fox uh, herniation. And which is the most common uh, cerebral herniation pattern. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.